Hi there, it is Monday morning, the start of a new weekly vlog. I'm Karen Lebo. My store is vintagedazzle.etsy.com, and uh, this is my vlog where I show you what the life of a vintage reseller might be like if you were me. <laughs> and right now, I'm just going to show you a few things that I have listed over the last couple of days. I'm going to start with some snuff bottles. I got these. In fact, a lot of what I'm going to show you today came from uh, an online auction, not eBay, a different, a different auction. And this is a jade, nephrite jade, carved snuff bottle with a lid that's uh, turquoise and coral. And um, it does need a little restoration. The cork is broken off in the neck, and this top has been glued together rather messily so but I think that could be fixed pretty easily but I will leave that to the buyer how they want to deal with that but it's got some really pretty colors in it and some nice carving it's got like a little sea monster in the center and uh, that one I listed on eBay I believe I started it at $75 and then uh, this is a carved agate snuff bottle really beautiful markings I love that translucent gray color. Very pretty. And uh, that one I put on Etsy for a 78. And uh, then we have this beaded, ah, let's see if I can show it to you. It's kind of fragile so I didn't really want to take it out of the box but I guess maybe I will. There we go. Okay. So it looks like that. It's got a double-headed eagle on it, and it's a um, seed bead medallion on a, on a string. And as you can see, it's got some little very fragile places on the, the necklace part. Uh, I suspect this is pretty old, maybe 1920s or 30s, uh, probably from Mexico. Well, almost certainly from Mexico. And I listed that for 48 and this is a Judith Jack camphor glass mark sight sterling silver pendant necklace. Um, Judith Jack is a company that was founded in 1969 and they do almost exclusively mark sight jewelry and they often do these retro looking pieces very high quality they sell in high-end stores. Um, I listed that one for $79. And then um, this is a lot of Mexican silver and abalone jewelry. There's some, uh, we have some fan, oops, fan earrings. Very pretty colors in the marcasite on those. And then there's this little cute little bird brooch. I like that one. And then a butterfly little pendant necklace. These all have different marks on them, but they're all eh, mid-century era, probably. And I listed that whole lot of jewelry for $24. And that's uh, most of my, in fact, all of my Etsy things that I list now are free shipping. Almost all. I guess occasionally there's an exception. Um, this is an Avon spoon ring. It's sterling silver. I think it's part of their Captured Heart series, and um, uh, let's see, I listed that for $39, and some more Mexican silver, this is a Mayan calendar, it's a combination brooch, pendant, absolutely enormous, um, that I listed for $42. And this, I don't know if you can see this, this is a charm, a sterling silver charm. That's a little set of chattering teeth. There we go. If you can see, it's a, an articulated set of chattering teeth or dentures. Uh, I have seen, I didn't see any exactly like this one, but I saw some other ones that really weren't even as nice or detailed selling for pretty good prices. 
I started it off at auction on eBay for $18. We'll see if it goes anywhere. Okay, I think that I have showed you everything for now. So I'm just getting ready to wrap up some orders that will ship tomorrow morning. And uh, I had zero orders yesterday, but today I have ten, so <laughs> go figure. Um, so uh, let's see, let's start. My list is so far away I can't read it. Okay, um, so this is a lot of five uh, real photo postcards that show uh, scenes of occupied Japan, and those sold for $15. And then uh, this is a, a Mexican embroidered shirt. You can get a nice look at the embroidery there. And uh, that sold for $39. Oh, and before I forget, oh, more than half of these orders came from YouTube. People repeat customers. And uh, I just want to take a moment to say I'm so, so grateful for you, for my YouTube viewers and for repeat customers. It just uh, makes my day when I see a familiar name come up in the sales. Uh, okay, and then we have this um, striped Guatemalan sh handmade, handwoven shirt. <clears throat> it's like a big, really big unisex, could fit a man type shirt. Um, I'll show you some better pictures of these. Uh, that I sold for 42 And then we have this fun, sorry about my shadow, this uh, fun mid-century brass ashtray with a stamped fish design. It's got quite a heavy patina on it, but I left it like that. It would shine up if you wanted it to, but some people like that dark color. Um, and uh, where did that? that sold for 27 uh, Okay, and then moving on to the jewelry, we have this lovely Mexican silver medallion with the open work. It's really beautiful metal work. You can see there's the, oops, there's the mark on the back. And that sold for 39 Sold a whole bunch of rings. I sold uh, this lot of costume jewelry rings. There are lots of rhinestones, silver tone metal. There's a really nice faux amethyst in there. Uh, I just listed those a few days ago, or a couple of days ago. Um, and that, let's see, uh, that sold for 21 And then we have all these rings. We have this absolutely gorgeous um, turquoise nugget, polished nugget ring. That sold for 52 And uh, this is a Navajo ring, signed Annie Chapo. Sterling silver and onyx, that sold for Oops, for 42 This is a really nice big lapis lazuli and sterling ring. And that sold for 49 And this is an opal ring. This I just listed also. Really pretty design on this and an absolutely beautiful stone. Opal ring sold for 38 and I think that is it for now. Just getting ready to do some ironing. This is a beautiful ECAT textile, probably from Indonesia, I'm guessing. And then I have this pile right here to do. That really doesn't need ironing. Um, so yeah, plowing my way through these uh, textiles that my sister-in-law has sent me. I've made really good progress. I only have a couple of boxes of them left. So, um, these have been great. These, I'm so grateful to her for giving me all this great stuff. Hello there. It is, what day is today? Wednesday afternoon. And I'm going to show you a few things that I listed yesterday and today. Okay, we'll start with this ring, which in the whole video I called it an agate ring, but I believe that it's actually jasper and not agate. Uh, Native American, Navajo style, sterling silver, and that I listed for 34 And uh, this, I did not know what this was in the haul video, but I have since discovered that it is 
moss agate and in particular dendritic moss agate because it looks like dendrites or looks like a tree also called tree agate it's a very interesting stone it's very very pretty it's hard to do it justice in the video but anyway that is also set in sterling silver um, possibly sort of an art deco era pendant I added a chain and that I listed for 52 and then we have these two coin pendants. Um, this one, this one, is an Irish one shilling from 1928. That is the first year that that was minted. And this one is a 1965 three pence from England. And um, those two together, I listed for 19. This sterling silver belt or buckle bangle bracelet that's nice and heavy, it's 27 plus grams and it's adjustable. And that I listed for 45. Uh, this tiger's eye brooch by Symmetallic um, probably dates, I'd say, around the 1940s, but that is a bit of a guess because the company has been the, that mark has been in use since the 1930s and may even still be used today, although you can tell by looking at it that it's an older mark, older version of it anyway. Um, but it's very pretty. It's 14 karat gold washed over sterling with the tiger's eye. And um, that I listed for 38. And then lastly we have this bunch of six uh, gold tone basketball charms from the 1970s. Some of them are marked with the red enamel C for whatever school it was. Some of them are dated from 73 to 76. Some of them are just plain. But um, those would make, those would be fun to put on a bracelet, I think. And those I listed for 19. And I've got a big stack of clothing and textiles I'm getting ready to list. They're all ironed and photographed. I just have to give them, get them listed. Okay, here's what I am wrapping up to ship tomorrow. We have a pair of sterling silver heart earrings with garnets and a little bit of gold overlay. And those sold for 32. And then uh, this very cool Art Deco uh, shoe clip set. Um, that I think was 22. Yes, 22. And then uh, this, eh, the shadows everywhere. Um, this is a Zuni inlaid stone man's ring. I love the, they're usually in very bright colors, and this is just kind of an earth tone. It's like jasper and onyx, really pretty. If the camera would set focus, it'd be really pretty. Um, and that was $65. And then I had one more thing which sold out of my other shop, which is a, uh, a drawing set, an antique drawing set that included some templates and um, some pen nibs. And it was kind of a part of a, a system that was like a really early cartridge pen. So it's kind of cool. I um, got it at a garage sale for like a dollar. And um, I've been waiting for the right person to come along. And I uh, believe that sold for like $29. Sorry, I didn't show it to you before I wrapped it up. I know I get, I get ahead of myself sometimes. Okay, so um, this is what I'm packing up to ship tomorrow. I have five items. We have this uh, linen drawn work, <clears throat> drawn work tablecloth with these really pretty lace insets. And I will show you a picture of that. And that tablecloth, um, 28, 26, 27, ah, I can't read from this far. Looks like 26. So $26 for that tablecloth. And then we have this um, Chinese embroidered tapestry. I get a pretty steady stream of these from my sister-in-law. She finds a lot of them 
and um, they sell, you know, they don't fly off the shelves, but they sell pretty well. And this one especially is very cute because it has a little kitty cat chasing a butterfly on it. And that, I believe that sold for about $48. I, I, I've only got it in pounds, so I can't tell you right now. And then in here we have two Guatemalan handwoven shirts that are um, damaged. They're for cutters. And I sold the two of those for $29. And uh, then we have this Moon Glow necklace, which in this terrible light, you probably can't tell, but it's a really beautiful blue, kind of a periwinkle blue, purpley light color with rhinestones. It's a really pretty necklace. And that, I think that sold for 20, um, 27 And uh, lastly, we have this ring, which I just listed, and that sold for, it's a Jasper ring, sold for um, 32 Hi there, it is Friday afternoon, just after lunch, and I'm going to show you a few things that I have listed recently. Okay, let's start off with some textiles. This, uh, I erroneously um, listed this as Guatemalan, and my sister-in-law, who peeks at my shop every once in a while, contacted me and said, no, 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 this is actually Romanian. Oh, my goodness. That's quite different, isn't it? Um, but it's a table runner with this beautiful hand-woven design and a little fringe, tassel fringe. And, um, and that listed for 29 And this is <laughs> kind of hard to see. It's a pink uh, damask linen tablecloth, round, pretty big one, and um, that listed for 36 And then these, these are a couple of uh, hand-woven Guatemalan, uh, I, I guess they're belts, or they're like tie belts or scarves. Um, this one is pretty wide to be a belt, but it could still be used. It could also be used as a, a little shoulder wrap or something like that. They're beautiful and they're like mint condition, bright, very nice. Uh, the smaller, this one, the more colorful one. Well, they're both really colorful. You can't see the colors on this one, but it's got some beautiful rainbow stripes in there. I'll put pictures in. Um, the little, smaller one is 26 and the larger one is 29. And move to some jewelry. We have these are some sterling silver probably 1980s uh, stud earrings with the puffy ribs. Um, those listed for 18 and uh, then I listed this um, lot of three pair of sterling screwback earrings. We have these little seahorses and these oak leaves and the little pagodas and I listed the three of those for 19 and um, these earrings uh, they did turn out to be real aquamarine so that's nice um, sterling and aquamarine and those I listed for 36 and then uh, this is um, Edwardian amber and 900 silver or coin silver uh, bar pin uh, this amber it is really pretty it's got some little in inclusions in it but it's, it's got a little chip but it's not too bad um, that I listed for 36 and I think that is everything. I'm going to use this last little bit of daylight left to show you what I'm shipping off. I have quite, well I have seven orders and a lot of them are big and bulky so it's going to be a shipping marathon. But anyway, you're probably wondering what the heck this is. This is a little 
a homemade wooden toolbox um, for model airplanes. It's called a field box. It has all the little tools that you would need to repair your model airplanes out in the field, including some spare propellers. It's got a little drawer down there and little spaces to put your screwdrivers, and it's got a bunch of tools and things inside there, too. It's really cute. There's a little lip on this side. And that I sold on eBay for $35 plus about $20 shipping. So, um, because it's quite heavy. So, and I've, I've had that. I've been nursing this listing for quite some time. Just needed the right person to come along. And okay, so we have uh, this architectural painting. And that sold for 88 And this um, lovely piece of pink iridescent etched glass. No name on it. I don't know who made it. I'm not really a, a, a glass person. I know a little bit about paperweights, but I don't know too much about this kind of glass. Anyway, uh, that sold for 29 and this is a cribbage board made from an elk antler. And that sold for um, 78 And, okay, let me get the jewelry out. And we have a Victorian style engraved sterling silver <coughs> locket. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's because of the low light that it's not focusing very well. There it is. Sweet little thing. That was 29 And then this Zuni inlaid turquoise pendant necklace, which is, ta-da, reversible, black on the other side. That also was 29 And then lastly, we have these little sterling earrings with the tiny little bit of lapis stone there in the center. And those were 22. Good morning. It's Saturday morning and I just thought I would show you <laughs> this package. <laughs> I shipped this in January and it has made its way back to me looking like it's been through a few wars. So I will have to see what the deal is. If I've already um, refunded the customer or what's going on, but what a mess. Hi there, it is Sunday morning, and I'm going to show you some things I listed yesterday, and that's it, I guess. Um, oh, I did want to just um, tell you a funny story that sometimes coronavirus lockdown leads to some interesting things. Um, I was sitting in my bedroom yesterday, and the window was open, and I heard um, my neighbor talking. And she's a bit of a loud talker on the phone, which was just so it's not unusual. But then I was I was hearing like this music, like she was watching YouTube videos or something, and playing them really loud. And I thought, wow, she's kind of playing her videos kind of loud. And then I I kept listening, and I realized that it wasn't a video; it was a Skype call. And, or something like that, Skype or Zoom or something, and she was rehearsing or composing or arranging music with some collaborators. I don't, it sounded almost like they were um, either arranging or composing music, and it was beautiful music. It was kind of a R&B with a, a hint of gospel, almost like it reminded me of the Isley Brothers for some reason but with female mostly female singers there was there were some male singers also but it was so interesting I thought what a great you know how innovative that they have been able to actually rehearse their music and play music together over Skype and it went on for about an hour and they were they weren't just playing around they were seriously making progress arranging and 
working out how they were going to do this music, and I thought that is really neat. So I enjoyed listening to that. I had a little impromptu sort of concert while I was sitting in my bedroom. Uh, anyway, so that's my coronavirus lockdown story for the day. Now let me just show you what I listed. Okay, first up is this um, silver plate stamped bracelet, bangle bracelet from Mexico. And that I listed for 15 And then this uh, sterling silver and abalone panel bracelet. A nice old one. It is signed. has an eagle mark. And uh, that's sold within hours of my listing it to one of my most faithful buyers who's been buying a lot of things from me lately. I don't know if she watches my videos, but thank you. <laughs> and then we have three uh, textiles. We have this um, ICAP woven cotton button-down shirt with long sleeves and a collar. Kind of a traditional looking shirt. You could dress it up or dress it down. That listed for 32 uh, then we have the uh, red and white Guatemalan weeple dress. Uh, this is a, a long one. It goes, it go, hits my ankles, and um, so it's in really good condition. And uh, that I uh, listed for 65. And then this uh, souvenir of Australia, 100% linen tablecloth. Uh, with uh, Aboriginal cultural motifs. Kind of fun. It's in really good shape. Looks like it's never been washed or anything. Or it might have been washed once because it's not real stiff, but it's still, the colors are very bright. It's in great condition. That listed for 32.